Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily add a full screen toggle button to your Elementor website. This functionality can be helpful if you want to present your website in a presentation mode, kind of similar to how PowerPoint does their presentations. You could do that with a toggle button like this right here. So as you can see, in this case, I have this icon right here. You just click it. And what it's doing is it's going full screen in the uh, browser. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add this icon or button inside your header if you have Elementor Pro. And then I'll also show you how you can add it throughout your website. So in this case, you can have buttons or different icons within the content section that if you hit that button, it will toggle full screen as well. To pull this trick off, we do need to add a little bit of JavaScript to our website. But don't worry, I'm going to walk you through how to add that to your Elementor website. So I got this code from this website right here. And in this case, you can see this toggle button. It does the same functionality. You just click it on and off and it will go between full screen and regular mode. So this down here is the JavaScript code that we're gonna be using. So I just wanted to give credit to this website on where I got the code. So let's just jump right into it. Here we are on the back end of the website. And to pull this off, what we need to do is we need to first add the JavaScript code to the website. But the way it works is, let me pull this back up. Anywhere that you have your icons, so if we're going to have the toggle button up here and the content, this JavaScript code has to always be below the button. So we can't have a case where the JavaScript code that we inject is above the buttons because it just doesn't work that way because JavaScript is looking for uh, interaction with that button. So if you put it above it, it's just not going to work at all. So in most cases, you're going to want to just throw this JavaScript code in your footer. Now I'm going to show you how to add JavaScript to your footer. And to pull this off, you just go up here, type in HTML. So you're just pulling in an HTML widget. And I usually like to throw it way in the bottom, just kind of get it out of the way. And the good thing about using this HTML widget is it's not going to show up in the front end. It's all just injecting the code into your website. Once you add that widget, you just paste in the following JavaScript code. And I'm going to have this code in the link in the description below. The way this code works is the JavaScript is right here where it says listening, it's looking for when the user clicks on this ID, it will do something. In this case, it's gonna do all of this right here, which is just go into full screen mode. So what we need to do is just copy this ID right here. Or if you wanna call this something different, you can just call it full screen button, whatever it may be. But in this case, we're just gonna call it a button full screen. So just hit update and that's it. That's the hard part. Adding the JavaScript is the hardest part of this whole tutorial. So once you did this, everything else is gonna be really easy. Now we're going to go into the header and I'm going to show you how to add an icon and target that ID. So the JavaScript knows when you click it, it's going to go full screen. So in this case, this is using Elementor Pro. We have our header right here. So we just have the logo, the menu system. I'm just going to add the icon right here to the right. I'm just going to go in here, type in icon, and you can see right here, they have a widget for this. You can just click and drag that in and we could do it a couple different ways. We could just go in here and I had it called it expand, I believe it was called right here. So this is using the Font Awesome icon library. So you can just insert that. You can scale it down a little bit so it fits your menu system a little bit better, something like that. And then this right here is where you need to add your ID. So under CSS ID, just paste in that ID that we pulled from the footer. So that's right here. Just copy that, paste it right here. And that's all you have to do. Once you hit update, let's go ahead in the front end of the website, make sure the button works correctly. So here we are. You just go ahead, click that, and it will go full screen. So you can hit full screen, you can hit escape to get out. So everything seems to be working uh, correctly. And you will notice that this um, bar up here, this is from WordPress. So if you go into an incognito window, that's not gonna be there. So if you're logged in, you see that bar, that's only because you're logged in. Now we can go ahead and do a few different things in here. So let's go back into the header. And if you notice on the front end of the website, your mouse cursor doesn't uh, change. So you can see when you're on your menu system, it will change. So what we can do is just add in a dummy link and then it will work correctly. So right here where it says link, we could just put in pound, hashtag, whatever you want to call it, just hit update. So now you can go into here, hit refresh, and now your mouse cursor is going to change. You can see that right there. So now the user knows that they can interact with this button and everything works right there. And what's cool about icons, you can go in here, change the primary color so you can change it to whatever. They give you different hover effects so we can make it, let's say blue or purple on a hover. 
and you can see it works really good right here. One thing I do recommend is if you don't need to load up the Font Awesome library, you can go ahead and just download these icons for free. So if you head over to their website, fontawesome.com, you can just search up here. So in this case, I want to search for expand. And you can see right here, this is the icon that's inside the Font Awesome library. So instead of loading up that whole library and loading your website, you can just go ahead to this website, click this button right here, download SVG. And what that's going to do is download it and you can just load that up instead. Once that's downloaded, you just click this button right here, Upload SVG, and you can see I have it right here. Insert to media, and there you go. So that's gonna help a little bit with your performance because the user doesn't have to download the whole library and bloat it in your website. So this is just gonna download this small little SVG and present it the same exact way. So let's go to the front end, do some more testing. So it goes to purple when you hover, and yeah, everything seems to be working correctly. So now I'm going to show you how you can add this same functionality down into your content area and how you're not just locked to using different icons. You can assign it to pretty much anything that can get a link. So here we are on the back end of the website and I'm going to show you how you can target something like this button to do the same functionality. Um, I did remove it from the header right here because if you have two full screen buttons on the same page, you need to retarget that ID. So I'm going to show you that in the next section. So let's just go ahead and say we want to add that same functionality to this button right here. So instead of, let's say, get started, let's just say, um, go full screen. So if you need to add this, you could just add this to any button. And like I said, anything that has a link, you can add this to it really easy. So same thing, you just go to your button, your advanced settings, paste in that ID right there, the button full screen. Again, that's from this section right here. Just go ahead, hit update. And here we are on the front end of the website. Let's make sure when we click this, it will go full screen. So yeah, there you go. You can see when you click that, it goes full screen and the user can hit escape and it goes away. Now let's try a totally different widget. So in this case, let's say we want to have this uh, clickable. So it would say like go full screen or something. So I'm going to quickly show you how you can add that ID and it works the same way. First thing we need to do is remove this ID right here. Like I said, in the next section, I'm going to show you how you can have multiple uh, full screen buttons on the same page. But as of right now, you need to remove that and let's just add it uh, right here. So this is a regular heading and I just changed the link to this uh, hash right here. So it just will go somewhere. And same thing, you just add the CSS ID right here, hit update. Now I'm gonna go to the front end of the website, hit refresh. And so now this text should open up the um, full screen. Yep, so that works out perfect. Now I'm gonna show you how you can add multiple full screen toggle buttons to your website. So as of right now, I brought this back into the header. So this one works fine. And I have the same ID right here. And as you can see, nothing's happening. I'm clicking and it's not going full screen. The reason is because this JavaScript code is being targeted by an ID and each page can only have one unique ID. So all we need to do is just make a small edit into that JavaScript code that we added in the first step and add a different ID. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So if we head back into our JavaScript code right here, all we need to do to pull this off is this chunk right here. We just need to duplicate that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that, paste it. And instead of using the same ID right here, we can use a different ID. So let's just keep it really simple and just call it button full screen two. And that's it, that's all you have to do. So if we go into this button right here, all we need to do is just target this to be full screen two. And that's it, just hit update. So anything that we add as the second uh, ID, you just need to target it right here in the same way. So let's go ahead, hit refresh, and let's make sure this is all working. So that one works correctly. And now when I click this, it should work. Yep, works out perfectly. And you can see that you can actually toggle on and off using the different buttons. So this could be a really good functionality if you have, let's say like, some sort of interactive slider or you really need to have the user go into full screen mode to get the best experience. This simple trick is going to do that for you. And that's it for this video. Make sure that you give it a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.